In this article one will discuss the types of tires with definition watch the full details on www.automobilehut.in Link is in the description. The tire is mounted on the wheel rim. It has to carry the vehicle load and provide a cushioning effect by absorbing flexing actions. It must provide a minimum noise, while the wheel is turning on the road. It resists the tendency for the vehicle to oversteer and turn into the blend while cornering. The tires may be the following types. Tube tire. It is a traditional tire. It encloses a tube in which air is forced to high pressure as a cushioning medium. The outer portion of the tire which rolls on the road is made of synthetic rubber and it is called trade. At the inner edges, Beads are formed by reinforcing with steel wires. The beds act as strong shoulders for bearing against the wheel rim. Rayon cords are formed into a number of piles. The treads provide resistance against slipping and thicker surfaces at the other periphery. Tubeless tire the tubeless tire does not enclose the tube. The air under pressure is filled in the tire itself. The inner construction of this tire is almost the same as that of the tube tire. A non-return valve is fitted to the rim through which air is forced inside the tire. The tubeless tires are lighter and run cooler than the tube tire. The main advantage of a tubeless tire is that it retains air for a long period even after being punctured by a nail, provided the nail remains in the tire. Also, any hole in the tubeless tire can be repaired simply by rubber plugging. The tubeless and tube tires are called pneumatic tires, in which air is forced inside the tube itself or in a tube that is fitted into the tire. In both cases, the air is a cushioning medium. But in solid tubes, it is not so. Neither the air forced inside the tire nor the tube is enclosed inside it. The tire is completely solid and is mounted on the wheel rim. It runs for a long time. Even since man invented the wheel, things began to move. Centuries later John Boyd Dunlop invested in the pneumatic tire and wheels moved faster and better. Then Dunlop India brought tire manufacturers to India in a big way. Tire Construction The tire construction is divided into two classes. Radial Ply Tire Construction 1. Cross ply tire construction In cross ply tire construction, the alternative layers of cords run in opposite diagonal directions. It is also known as cross bias tire construction. This type of tire has better wear and road holding characteristics but they must not be fitted on the front wheels only. 2. Radial ply tire construction In radial ply tire construction, the cords run radially from bead to bead. The various components of tires are as follows. 1. Tread 
the shoulder to shoulder width of the tire represents the trail. Natural as well as synthetic rubber is used for the trade of the tire. The natural rubber helps the tire to stay cooler during running. 2. Breaker The two top piles of the tire are referred to as breakers. They are widely spaced as compared to the other piles. This pile helps in spreading the shocks received from the road. 3. Casing The tire casings are made up of layers of cord impregnated with rubber. The number of layers of cord varies according to the use of the tire. Motor car tires usually have 4 to 6 piles. Heavy-duty truck and bus tires may have up to 22 piles whereas for earth-moving machinery the tire may have up to 34 piles. 4. Side walls The side walls are of rubber compound which serves as a protective covering to the casing. A tire may have a black or white side wall. Both the side walls have the same performance as the tire. 5. Beads coils of wires represent the beds. These wires are of high tensile steel which is built into the edges of the tire in order to give strong edges to press against the inner edge of the rim.